What's gaming gamers? So recently, Pocketmon Genius challenged me to make a 3D game. Well, jokes on him, I actually already made a 3D game, like, last year, and I forgot to post about it. So, I used Construct 3, which I don't have anymore because it's subscription-based now, which makes me mad, but... That being said, the 3D features are pretty cool. So, let me just show you what I made. It is a zombie survival game thing. And I don't know why the frame rate's so terrible. Uh, it was just fine earlier, and it, it's still it's still bad even when I'm not recording. But basically, I can move around. Um, I can collect these boxes. You can see at the top left, the score goes up. Um, I can collide with these trees, and I can also walk underneath blocks. And what I'm doing here is, this actually isn't real 3D. Um, it's just all, all trickery, all evil trickery that comes with uh, Construct 3. So this ceiling isn't like technically above the player, it's just that the collisions are disabled. So I can't really like, without like some weird stuff, I can't really like jump up and hit my head on the ceiling because there, there's no collisions. I recently switched over to Godot and I'll be making a video about why, but I attempted to make something in 3D. Um, it's a lot better than the zombie game in Construct. And it's still, it still kind of stinks, but that's mainly just because I'm very new to 3D and still pretty new to Godot. Um, if you watch Danny on YouTube, you'll recognize this barrel from Carlson, and this enemy is kind of from Carlson. And if you watch Danny, you will not recognize Nicolas Cage with a bird on his head. But as you can see here, like I can jump, um, I can scale the wall, do a little wall jump. Um, I can I can shoot, and uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, it, it, it's very buggy. I'm not supposed to be able to do that. But as you can see, Nicolas Cage be looking very nice. Um, if you look over here, I can just duplicate a bunch of these. And we just have a bunch of barrels, which is rather fun. Um, and I can shoot them, which is also rather fun. So thank you for watching, gamers. Slap the like, gamers. And I'll do a video about Construct 3 versus Godot, some pros and cons. And I will see you next time.